Organizing in Google Drive has never been easier, especially now with the priority um, page in Google Drive. This is where um, Google's artificial intelligence identifies documents most relevant to you. This new workspace allows the user to prioritize files that you're currently working on and quickly access them without searching through the drive. And these files can then be sorted into what's called workspaces. This will definitely help students with executing functioning issues organize, plan, and prioritize assignments. Less searching, allowing them to stay focused on the task. So over here in the left um, panel, I have a priority drive. And you can see at the top, these are the um, files that I've been using most recently. And in um, workspace is where you can create a space that where you can put all your most important files. So in the middle of the screen, it gives me the option to create a workspace here, but it also will give me suggested workspaces based on things that I have opened frequently. So I could save those as a workspace, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to actually go here and create a workspace. So I'm going to name this um, Priority Research because I'm thinking of students that do research and have a lot of things located in Google Drive that they can't easily find. You know, the workspace is set up where you can group things together related by content area, such as multiple files related to the same project. This can be personalized, collecting any files you have to access that are located in your drive, your team drive, and shared with you. Google will also suggest some ideas for workspaces. So I'm going to choose other files. You can see that Priority Research has um, suggested that I add to this um, workspace something on executive functioning. How did they know that? But I can choose other files to add here. And as you can see, it will launch my recents, my drive, my team drives, and it will also launch shared with me. So I can now select the file or files um, from any of these places within my drive. So I'm going to suggest this priority drive um, document and you can see it automatically turns blue and on the bottom I see that one file is selected. I'm going to say collect this workshop in differentiation and I'm going to um, Chromebook lesson ideas. When I'm done with what I want for right now I can say insert and now I've added these files to my workspace here called Priority Research. By clicking on this arrow up here, I can rename it, I can hide the workspace, or I can remove this workspace altogether. But when I'm thinking about students that I work with, the ability to hide the workspace when the research is done or those particular files um, have served their purpose is a great way to have them kind of removed from the top layer of your drive. If I select this priority drive uh, file and click on the more dots over here, I get that same kind of menu that I would normally have in a file and drive. But as you can see, I also have now add to workspaces. If I click on this, it, it, you can see here it's kind of grayed out, but it's that that particular file is already in my priority research workspace. But I could also create a new workspace and add it to that there as well. It can also be added to the priority, a priority workspace on the fly within Drive. So if I wanted to add this assistive touch file, I could right click on it. And you can see now that in the menu, I get add to workspace. So I'm going to select this. And now it will, it will give me a list of workspaces that I have created. And you can see here's that priority research that I created earlier. So if I go to my priority research here and I look, here is the assistive touch um, document that I added to my workspace. So with a priority page, you can consistently move things around and kind of tweak things as needed and add files later and on the fly. And it really begins to um, think about 
students and how they can organize Drive. You know, in the past, we've organized things by color coding folders and um, uh, color coding, um, adding emojis and other things that will customize the Drive. If I look at my Drive here and I launch it, um, I have color coded folders um, that help me quickly access something. But I still have to dig deep to find things that I need and want to use. So the workspace and the priority drive is a good, quick way to organize for students that need help in organization and planning and to keep all their research in one place. I hope this was helpful. Thank <laughs> you.